How do you calculate the exact amount of wrapping paper needed to wrap a shoebox? In this lesson, you will learn how to find the surface area of a rectangular prism by analyzing the prism's six faces and computing their areas. First off, let's review what surface area is. And surface area is the sum of the areas of the faces on a 3D solid. In other words, if we add up each of these six faces, add up their areas, we will find the surface area. We also need to remind ourselves how to find the area of a rectangle. And we do this by multiplying its length times its width. Uh, in other words, we find area by taking L times W. That's the shorthand, the formula rather. OK, let's jump into the core lesson. And the first thing we will be doing today is we're going to find the surface area of this rectangular prism. I want to do a little analysis of this prism before we actually find its surface area. So as you remember from previous lessons, it has two parallel congruent uh, rectangular faces that are um, shaded in pink right here. And you can see that it is, the, pardon me, that that pink rectangle is uh, 3 inches by 6 inches. We also have two parallel congruent green faces, and these ones are a little larger. They are 8 inches by 3 inches. And finally, we have a set of purple faces. These are the biggest ones on this particular prism, and they are 8 inches by 6 inches. When we find the surface area of this rectangular prism, we are going to add up the areas of all six faces. And to save ourselves a little bit of time and energy, we're going to organize our work by first finding the area of the two small rectangles, then adding to that the area of the two medium rectangles, and adding to that the area of the two large rectangles. Now, as you may recall, to find area, we need to use our formula for um, area of a rectangle, length times width. Uh, once I've laid out my formulas, I'm ready to make substitutions. I'm going to put in actual numeric values in place of the L's and the W's. So if we look at this uh, pinkish, orangish rectangle, we can see that it is 3 inches by 6 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and make that substitution. Next, I see that my green rectangles, if I look real closely, have dimensions of 3 inches by 8 inches. So I'm going to make that substitution. And the final substitution I make is uh, for my large purple rectangles, and those are 8 inches by 6 inches, or 6 by 8. That was really the hardest part right there. Um, moving forward, it's just a matter of doing some careful computation. Um, do not forget to double the area of each face because we have two of every sized face. So we take 2 times 18, 2 times 24, and 2 by 48. That will get us the area of all six faces. Simply add up those values, and I learned that this rectangular prism has a surface area of 180 square inches. Let's try that again, but we're going to look at a slightly different rectangular prism, and this one is unique because it's a cube. Uh, in other words, it has six faces that are all exactly the same size. And that's actually going to make our life a little bit easier. Uh, in this uh, example, we simply need to take six times the area of one square, because there's only one size of face on this prism. We find the area of a square by multiplying the side length times itself, or taking s squared. In this case, the side length is 5, so we're going to take 5 squared and multiply that by 6. And 6 times 25, our final step, uh, before we conclude that this cube has a surface area of 150 square centimeters. In this lesson, you have learned how to find the surface area of a rectangular prism by analyzing the prism's six faces and computing their areas.